Hi, I'm Jimmy Herring. I just want to give a shout out to everybody at PRS. Congratulations on the 30th year and, you know, many more to come. <laughs> Smith and we're here with Jimmy Herring. Jimmy, thanks for coming to the factory. Thank you for having me. Um, it's our 30th anniversary and for us um, that's a big deal. We made it 30 years. You know? That's amazing. And yeah. you've been playing the guitars 12 years something like well, that? Well it's been it's on and off. I mean you know I it would have to be 15, 15 16, 16 years. Maybe right. even longer. It's in, yeah. And this is the first time that you've been to the factory. Yeah. I mean, he's been so busy touring. I've been begging for the last 10 years to, <laughs> to come here, and you finally made it today, which we really appreciate. Oh, man, I'm thrilled to be here. And there was a real reverence when he was in the factory. People from all the departments coming up and being able to quote all the bands that you were in. You know, wow. From the Ringers to the Allman Brothers to, I don't know whether it was called the Grateful Dead. What was it called? It was called, the, they call it the Other Ones. The Other Ones. For the first incarnation yeah. that I was involved in and then it, they, they dropped grateful and called it the dead the dead okay yeah. right. that's interesting yeah that's what their fans call it anyway you know. but now and widespread panics to a lot too right? yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough so you're relying on the yeah. amplifiers and you've been relying on the guitars and that yeah. NF3 has been your baby it has with the ringers and with well guys. I played it some with panic but mostly with the ringers is when I've been using that instrument I love the instrument I think it's the perfect uh, you know, middle ground between, you know, a, a, a Strat style guitar and also, you know, one with humbuckers in it. Because they are humbuckers and so they're quiet, but because they're so narrow, they have this really focused sound. And it's really an articulate guitar when you pick on it. And it'll make you a better player because you can't hide behind anything with it. It's really, uh, yeah. So I know that Brian Hello. Farmer told you about what you're holding, which is a uh, private stock and Cardi single cut. And I, I, what happened was he was in final assembly, and this thing had come off the assembly line. And basically, you went, "Let me try it," and oh. we couldn't rip it out of your hands. Oh man, this thing is uh, this is a magic instrument, you know. I mean, it just is amazing. I can't even begin to tell you, you know, what. I mean, Farmer called and says, um, and Brian Farmer's Warren Haynes is tech. Um, and he's become a real friend. He calls and says, well, Paul, it sounds like you broke the code, which is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, uh, yeah. My hope was. Um, and for you, my hope is that this thing is a little more even than yeah. some of the old guitars and has less yeah. little quirks and has a really big, meaty sound that has got gobs of yeah. musical high end. It doesn't sound dark in any way. Is that what your experience it's is? Very, it's very even from my experience with it, which is very limited, but you know, you can tell a lot about something fairly quickly. You know what I mean? Well, it's interesting and you're uh, holding that and you're not holding that. I know, well, I mean, I love that. It's it's sort of like, okay, you know, the S style guitar, the LP style guitar, yeah. you know, but although that is nothing like a Strat in, in truth, it's really not. I mean, it feels similar. It's a, quarter, a half an inch shorter. Scale length wise, quarter, quarter, quarter of an inch, sorry, quarter of an inch shorter, scale length wise. The tremolo system on it is the best one I've ever, you know, messed with. It stays so, in tune good. Why don't yeah. we stop talking for a second and why don't you put that guitar on and we'll okay. get a little bit of what that guitar sounds like through the rig. Okay. okay. Thank you. 